I want to get something straight. To those of you that feel it necessary to invade my personal space and attempt to override my cognitive functions by overwhelming my soul with feelings and emotions next time I'm going to counteract them and I am going to project them back onto each and every one of you that are disgracing my presence the way that you are what did you think that I wouldn't know exactly what you're trying to do I'm not as crazy as I look <laughs> as a matter of fact I'm more awake than I've ever been and I happen to know human psychology better than people can understand themselves but yet ironically people feel the need to try and convince themselves that they're pulling the wool over my eyes when little did they know I'm spiritually awoke to their sadistic bull stink apply away wouldn't it because you don't know who's watching the videos man it is what it is so next time like I said when I happen to be training and you're within my proximity and you're trying to override my cognitive functioning as you will by overwhelming my soul with your feelings and emotions essentially then you best believe I'm going to pick up my belt and buckle and I'm going to lash you as a friendly reminder not to do that again and people are in for one rude awakening tell me people if there was any truth to both sexes as a matter of fact if there was any truth to both sexes living within their feelings and emotions then tell me why are friendships and why are relationships slash marriages failing can anyone tell me can anyone tell me that no well gee I know why that is because you're still dumb enough to believe in this brainwashing this propaganda nonsense that's all it is it's a load of fecal matter what people essentially need to be doing rather than projecting onto those that are currently overwhelmed enough you know with battles and struggles what you need to be doing with your fleeting feelings and emotions people are not to project them onto those that have already got a lot on their china plate as you will rather you're to use them and work with them in order to build emotional maturity emotional intelligence therefore rather than living within them and attracting negative as well as toxic relationship or friendship dynamics within people you can attract healthier connections within people by sitting with your feelings and emotions like I said in order to build emotional maturity and emotional intelligence therefore we get to choose how we interact with another being whether it be good wrath
or tough loving. And there you have it, folks. So don't come anywhere within my proximity with your own BS feelings. I do not try to override my belief system because I know exactly what each and every one of you are trying to do. I'm more awake than you'll ever begin to imagine. And the next person to pull a stunt like that I'm going to knock you so hard on your ass that even hell will be able to pick up on the vibration from your fall. So people, before I wrap this video up, like I said, don't come at me with your feelings this, your feelings that, and do not try to override my belief system because I know full well what you're trying to do and it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And do you know why that is? No? I'll tell you why. Because as men, like I said, we are created originally to be masculine, stoic men, as well as emotionally mature slash intelligent men. And the reason why, like I said, so many friendships and relationships fail in today's society, even marriages on a whole, might I add, is due to the fact that people live within their feelings and emotions. I'd rather sit within them and work with them in order to, like I said, master the art of building emotional maturity and emotional intelligence. People would rather project them and over overwhelm others, as a matter of fact, when they've already got a lot on their plate. Mostly good things. And that's not good. That's not healthy. And if people, like I said, want to develop a long-lasting, healthy connection with myself, then you need to respect my boundaries at all times. Thus including my presence. Because like I said, I do happen to know human psychology better than anybody could ever understand themselves. And I'm more switched on to this system than anybody could begin... To imagine. And what's that saying from The Dark Knight Batman by Heath Ledger? I'm not a monster. I'm just ahead of the curve. In other words, while people believe that they're clowning me, I'm actually clowning people all along. As a matter of fact, people are my jokers, they are my jesters, they are my clowns, they are my peasants, they are my audience, and it's my audience that grants me the strength I need to continue to push forward. And the more people play these games, like I said, by living outside of God's will, you're in for one rude awakening when the truth finally hits you. And you begin to realise that I was right the whole time. And the small percentage of other male followers, as you will, that have so happened to experience this spiritual awakening that are currently putting in the work within their own psychological well-being and their heart for that matter in other words they're renewing their mind and transforma um, transforming their hearts even in order to receive the kingdom of God you know you can't fool us chosen us called 
blastly was anointed. It's not going to happen. And like I said, people, if you don't believe me, you know, by all means, live within your feelings and emotions. And we'll see what's up. We'll see how long your so-called friends, as you will, or your so-called friendships and your so-called relationships last. We'll see how long they last. Because like I said, not everyone in today's society are actually in fact your friend. As a matter of fact, friends, what are they? They're non-existent. They're overrated, 99.5 maybe. No, I'll take that back. 95.5% of the time they're overrated. And I say this because there's a small fraction out there that I know full well within my heart and my mind. Get me and understand me, you know, and don't try to interfere with my free will along with my psychological well-being along with presence you know and they respect my presence uh, as well as boundaries we live in a crazy world man <laughs> you know we live in a crazy world that it's somewhat laughable but at the same time it could be also frustrating you know it is what it is, so there you have it, folks. Take heed onto what I've just shared in this video, apply it to your life, and watch the changes commence. You know, it is what it is. Cheers.